So I was recently at dinner with an influencer, a fairly significant influencer, and she has a, a following like on Instagram of almost a million people. So big time influencer. And she asked, she's got an ebook coming out. This is the first product of her own that she's going to sell. And she's like, what should I price it at? And it got me to thinking because, you know, in some of these recent videos, we've been talking quite a bit about pricing. And we've come at it from a couple different directions. And I thought I'd try a different direction with you. It's the direction I took with this young influencer. So first of all, I, the, the question really wasn't, it was only part of the question. So it's like, here's this ebook. And here's this following you've, you know, here's this following you've got. And let's say, let's just, to make the math easy, we we'll call it a million people on Instagram. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I'm, I always want to take these million people and push them over onto an email list, which will be much smaller than this million people, but I'd rather be over here on an email list. But we'll leave, we'll leave that aside for right now. Let's just say you got this million person Insta following and you've got this ebook, right? So here's this ebook and what should you price it at? Well, first of all, we can just do some math here and say you have a million followers. And I mean, if I had a million person email list and this is going to be my absolute first offer to them that I'm actually coming out with something, I'd probably be hoping for like a 3% conversion. If I, did a, if I did a decent launch to an email list of a million people, a 3% conversion, I think I actually did the math here on my computer, that'd be 30,000 sales which is a crazy number to think of for your first offer. But with a decent email list and a decent launch of 3% and your first offer, 3% is not out of the realm of possibility. And the numbers get sort of crazy too. Like if you did three, if say you did it was, um, you know, a $27 ebook, that'd be like $800,000. It'd be an insane launch for an ebook. All of that is a supposition. Typically, an Instagram following is not going to convert as like an email list. But still, a big, a big time, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a huge following, so it can drive some serious sales. But again, it's not the question. So the thing is, is if you went and did that launch for this ebook, that'd be a, like a great result, but it would be a one off result because you've spent years building up this following and it's a pent up demand and you have a great result, but it's just a one-time deal. It's not a business. And a one-time launch, a one-time promotion is not what a business makes. So what really you need to be thinking about is where does this offer land in your whole progression of things? So maybe it's more than instead of selling this ebook, I'm just saying $27. A lot of ebooks e are all over the place. I've seen ebooks from $7 up to $100, right? $27 is a typical average price. $37 is a typical average price. It depends on your market. You know, pricing is not exact. That's why we're doing all these videos on pricing. But what I would be thinking is like, what is this? Like, what's the lead magnet here? What lead magnet can you, can you use? to take people from Insta over to your email list and then take them into this first ebook and then what can that take them into? Because if you're selling any type of a training, community, membership site, coaching, there's always going to be multiple levels or there should be. You should aspire to having more than one level of offers. It's, um, you know, if you're just starting out, don't get overwhelmed, get your first offer done, get your first product done, get it out there. But to think, don't think your first offer, your first product is going to be your last product. It's not going to be, it's your first one. Trust me, we're coming up on 25 years in business for me. And the product I started off with is not the product I sell right now. There's many iterations. So, you're gonna go from $27 to your next one. I don't know if 27 is the right price, I'm using it as an example. It might go from 27 to 97 to 297 
to 997 and higher. So really, the pricing is just, it's your first offer. You might, I mean, depending, you, you could go straight from here right up in the high, the high end if you wanted to, if you had an offer that sustained it. If you were offering a coaching program, you wouldn't be down here. But what I'm getting at is there's not one price and there's not one product. It's, it's an evolution through your value chain. This is a value chain. You take people and every step of the way, you're delivering more and more value. You don't have to have everything built out right away. You don't have to have everything planned out. These things will become apparent as you start selling, wherever you start selling, whether you start here or here, as you start to interact with your market. I like to say, as you start to rub elbows with your clients, you're going to figure out what they need, what they want, what they're looking for from you, and that will give you ideas for products that, and it might be products at a lower price, or it might be products at a higher price, depending on where you start and what your market is. What I'm getting at is that just saying, you, yeah, it's smart to ask, especially if you're sitting next to me at dinner, it's smart to ask me what this price should be. But really, the question is, is what is this entire value chain? What transformation are you delivering to your clients? Will you be delivering to your clients? How is it going to change their life? What impact are you going to make on them? And then how do you build out the value chain so that you can continually move people up if they choose to go deeper and, and just want to keep on um, having a deeper relationship with you and they keep on wanting to move towards mastery in whatever product, whatever service you're teaching, you're selling. So it's not just one product. It's not just one price. It's an entire value chain. So get out there, make your first offer, and take those baby steps from there, and then start to build out your value chain. So I'm Jeff Walker. Wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, and let's go get them this week.